The final part of 2A part 4 is to apply some colours to the value of the lease required based upon how it compares with the maximum lease. What the instructors need to know is whether they can afford the lease. So if the lease that is required is less than or equal to the maximum lease, so up to that value, that is a maximum of leasing companies willing to lend, then that's good. Once it goes above this maximum lease figure, then it means that they can't afford uh, what they would actually want and they've got to change the values. So what the question is asking you to do is here, if the lease required is less than or equal to the maximum lease available, then a green border should be placed around the value of the lease required. So that will show that it's good. Otherwise, the lease required should change to orange. So we can use conditional formatting to achieve this. So if we click on this cell and go to the conditional formatting option, and the easiest thing to do is to go to new rule to create a new conditional formatting rule. And what you want to do is you want to format cells, okay, so you want to format this cell that contains values that are less than or equal to the maximum lease. So we format only cells that contain a cell value that is less than or equal to the maximum lease. So we'll click on that maximum lease here. Then we change what we want the format to be. So we want the format to be a green border. So we'll choose the colour of green. We'll go for an outline border. Click on OK and OK again. And you can see that that border is green because that is a value that's acceptable. So we also need to make it turn orange if that condition isn't the case. So again, we'll do a new rule. We'll format only cells that contain values, this time that are greater than the maximum lease. And our format will be to change the font to be orange. So let's test that. If I change this now to 6,000 for the extras, Okay, well, of course, I can't put 6,000 in because it's above the validation rule, but we can see that what it has done temporarily is change that lease required to orange. What I could do is reduce these values. There we go. Just undo what I've done. Now, when it comes to showing your evidence for this, the easiest way to show your evidence is to go to conditional formatting, select manage rules, and then show this screen here. But when you show this screen, make sure that that cell there, C25, is actually showing as part of your screenshot.